So the YouTube Heroes program has begun. I have had several of my videos demonetized for not being what YouTube calls advertiser friendly. Now, what does this mean? Well, when you look at the fine print, it could mean just about anything, given that YouTube, along with most other companies that have a chokehold on information, are not about the free dissemination of ideas. So what does this really mean? Well, you're free to upload inane videos on cats, makeup application, or things that do not question what is going on in your city, your country, your democracy, your world. But don't report on information that the mainstream media refuses to. You'll be shut down. And it does make sense if you look at what is popular on YouTube, what kinds of videos people are watching. It really does make perfect sense. Now on to the point of this video. My videos have been demonetized many times. What were they about? Well, Hillary and her connection with Syria and Israel, demonetized. I made a video about the Orlando massacre at a gay nightclub, demonetized. The mass murder of men, women, and children in Nice, France, demonetized. It goes on and on and on and on. But now on to the YouTube Heroes program, which is stepping up its game. I've now not only had one of my videos removed, but now I have a community strike against my channel, to the glee of my detractors, it would seem. And if I receive two more strikes, my account will be revoked. What was the video? Well, funnily enough, it was a video that had been up since February and had approximately 300 to 400,000 views. Not really sure because it had been taken down, but it was popular. What was it? No, it wasn't about Hillary, but I think you can guess. Yeah, that's right, the horrific effects of the migrant crisis in Europe. The name of the video was Migrant Sexual Emergencies Plaguing the Swimming Pools of Europe. The title itself for the video came from a sexual attack that happened in a Viennese swimming pool by a migrant that had been taken in by the people of Austria. This man dragged a 10-year-old boy into a changing cubicle, pulled down his swim trunks, and sexually attacked him so ferociously he needed to be hospitalized. When questioned by the police, he stated that he had not had sex in several months and that it was a, quote, sexual emergency. The entire video was straight up reporting of incidences that have been going on throughout the continent in country after country. The video was also thoroughly and completely sourced with links to absolutely every story and everything said in the video. YouTube calls the reporting of sexual attacks on children hate speech. Just let that sink in. YouTube calls speaking out against the sexual assault of children hate speech. If you'd like to actually view the original video, you can find a link in the description where it has been uploaded to the platform minds.com. Funnily enough, I was going to do an update to the video, Migrant Sexual Emergencies Plaguing the Swimming Pools of Europe. What was the update going to be? Well, the migrant that raped the little boy had his six-year jail sentence overturned. Why was that, you may ask? Well, because the Supreme Court of Austria was not convinced that. While the migrant was viciously sodomizing the 10-year-old boy that he had dragged into a changing cubicle, the Supreme Court were not convinced that the migrant understood that the boy was saying no, that the migrant may have believed that the 10-year-old boy gave consent. Yeah, wow. But I guess that video will not be made. YouTube will probably give my channel another strike for bringing news that their partners in government do not want you to hear. For those of you thinking of making a video channel, here are some of the things you probably shouldn't cover. Hillary, Russia, Islam, Syria, terrorism, government corruption, China, currency manipulation, banks, Wall Street, electoral fraud, government, and a plethora of others. Take your cue from this guy. Make vacuous and meaningless content geared toward 12-year-olds and you'll do just fine. Just make sure you don't speak out against children being raped. YouTube considers this hate speech, and it looks as though the police, the courts, and the governments do too. Well done, YouTube. Well done.